Hi, I'm Judy Keel, and you're watching Community Focus, presented by the Friends of MCTV. In this third segment, our guest is Roger Garner, the Emergency Management Coordinator for Midland County. Welcome to Community Focus, Roger. Thank you. Now, the calendar indicates for us that it is spring, so what potential hazards should we be prepared for this time of year? Well, this time of year, a um, couple things. First of all, we want people to start thinking about summer storms again. Yeah. You know, we've had a long cold winter, and April, May, and June are the months when we typically experience some severe weather, possibly tornadoes. Mm -hmm. And April can be a big month for us for flooding as well. So, you know, these are the hazards that uh, we want people to be uh, starting to think about and getting prepared for. Sure. So how are the warnings and emergency information disseminated to the public? How can we be sure that the information is going to be received by everybody who needs to know it? Well, the first thing we want people to do is make sure they have a way to receive the warning. Mm -hmm. Now, right here around Midland, I'm sure people are familiar with the outdoor warning sirens, which are designed to warn you if you're outdoors. Um, a lot of people aren't going to be able to hear them inside. Yeah. So, and the outdoor warning sirens are used to warn people of a tornado or of a chemical release. So if you hear the outdoor warning siren, the first thing you want to do is move indoors and seek information about exactly what's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that I recommend to people is to get a weather radio that has an alert feature. That's something they can put right inside their home or their office. It's you know, having a siren inside instead of the one outside. Mm -hmm. And uh, the National Weather Service issues watches and warnings and advisories through the weather radio. You can uh, buy them usually at any store that sells electronics for probably $30 to $50. It's a, it's a really good thing to have. Uh, another thing that we're using is a service called Nixle. And uh, that is where our 911 center will send a message directly to your, uh, a text message directly to your uh, cell phone or an email to you. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if you go to midland911.org, there's information there about how to sign up for that service mm -hmm. because it is something that you, you have to sign up for. So, you know, those are kind of the three key ways to get warning. And then following that, especially if it's a longer term type event, we have other ways that we'll use to get emergency instructions and information to people. Um, uh, one thing that we've had for a number of years is our triple eight Telmore phone number that people can call uh, to get information. Um, we also, again, for a longer term event, have an agreement with uh, 211 of Northeast Michigan. Oh, okay. So people that maybe not have internet access or would prefer calling and talking to someone can call 211. Uh, we're also using Facebook. We're using the Midland911.org. Um, uh, internet page um, and uh, if, if you did a search on Facebook for Midland County Emergency Management uh, you'd be able to find my Facebook page and be able to look for additional information mm -hmm. there. So we're trying to use a variety of avenues to reach the various different uh, populations in the area. Where they are, that's correct. Yeah. So what resources are there available to help people plan for emergencies? Well. A lot of things are available on the internet. Uh, on my section of the Midland County website, mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, if you search for Midland County uh, and uh, find our website and go to the emergency management section, I have information there on preparing for all types of hazards, not just weather hazards, oh, yeah. but, uh, you know, the whole gamut of things that uh, we would need to be concerned about. Ready.gov is another good website. The American Red Cross has a lot of good information. Uh, there's also a website called Do One Thing, which tells people how they can do one thing a month to get themselves prepared for an emergency. So they can kind of spread it out during the whole year, and by the end of the year, they, they have what they need for their family to be prepared. And the last thing I would mention is that um, we have a long partnership with the Midland Daily News doing the emergency preparedness mm -hmm. guide. Oh, yeah. And uh, I've seen that, yeah. 
yeah, those are available uh, from, from me at my office. So if you wanted to stop by the Midland Law Enforcement Center and pick one up or uh, send me a message to the web page, we can make sure you get one. That sounds good. So if we were going to contact the Emergency Management Office, uh, what are your contact numbers? Um, phone number is 832-6750, or you can send me an email at uh, rgarner at co.midland.mi.us, or there's also a way to, uh, to contact me through our web page. You can send me a message there as well. Perfect. Roger, thank you for appearing on Community Focus this month to keep us informed about emergencies that might come up. We hope they don't. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. In our final segment today, we're going to hear about an event sponsored by the Midland Area Community Foundation. 